We've been told that Apple's most powerful Mac, the Mac Pro, is going to be getting a spring launch with the brand new M2 Ultra chipset. I want to share the latest on this with the latest roundup of everything we know so far, including specs and of course the Apple Mac Pro 2023 release date and price. So, back in 2019, we had the brand new Mac Pro come out with the latest Intel Xeon chips inside. The Mac Pro is considered as the god desktop for creators and developers. It is one of four desktop computers in the current Macintosh lineup, sitting up above the consumer Mac Mini, iMac and the Mac Studio models. It is also Apple's most powerful Mac that they make. The new design went back to a tower design after it came from that similar design for the second generation. The new design includes a new thermal architecture with three impeller fans that promises to prevent the computer from having to throttle the processor so it can always run at peak performance levels. But let's press on when it's likely we're going to get our hands on the new Mac Pro. The Mac Pro is due a refresh as it's the last Intel Mac out there right now and it definitely needs an Apple Silicon refresh as the last time we also had an update to the Mac Pro was in late 2019. Apart from the 2013 Mac Pro, the models before from 2006 to 2012 had upgrades around every 18 months to two years with newer Intel chipsets put inside. So we've had a report in from Mark Gurman telling us that the Mac Pro is likely to be coming at a spring event, what I'd like to talk about a little bit more in a moment. But the other news is that the Mac Pro will be getting an M2 Ultra inside what is essentially two M2 Maxes stitched together. Based on numbers from the M2 Max, this would mean we could be getting up to 24 cores in CPUs and up to 76 cores for the GPU, what would be absolutely amazing. Then for RAM, this could mean we could be getting up to 192GB of RAM as an option too. However, for release date, it is likely that Apple will stay on the tradition of launching the Mac Pro. For every single Mac Pro since 2006, with the first generation design borrowed from the G5 with the Intel chipsets, to the trash can design in 2013, and also the current cheese gracer design in 2019, every single one of these Macs have been announced before the summer, either in March or April, or they've come later on at a WWDC event. With this, we've been told by Mark Gurman that the Mac Pro is coming in the first half of 2023, which means that it's likely that a spring event or either the latest WWDC 2023 is when we'll be getting our hands on the brand new Mac Pro. And either case you look at this, it will be launching very soon. So, just quickly guys, if you didn't know already, this channel just got over 450,000 subscribers and I recently did a giveaway of a brand new MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro and if you want to see who the winner was at, make sure you check out the video on my channel because I announced who the winner was. But the great thing is guys, I've got another giveaway. And because we're approaching half a million subscribers, and this is a big number, I'm doing an extra special giveaway. This time guys, I'm gonna be giving away an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's a 256 gigabyte model in deep purple. Not only this, I'm also gonna be giving away a MacBook Air as well. And this is also the 10 core GPU option with also 256 gigabyte of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM inside that and not only this guys I'm also going to be giving away a MacBook Pro another one an M1 Pro and this one has got the 8 core setup and also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage and I'm going to be giving away one of these prizes to three lucky winners so they'll be picked at random that one of you will get one of these random prizes and basically there are three items to give away and if you want to be in a chance to get one of these items in this big giveaway that I am doing, make sure in the comments below to write what Apple products, what technology products you're hoping to buy in 2022. Put them down in the comments below and also at the same time as well guys, I'll be announcing who the winner is of these free prizes and the free winners by a video. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell if you're brand new here because you don't want to miss out on that video if you are the lucky person. One other quick note guys, I've just got to say there are lots 
of spammers and scammers out there telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram them, telling you that you've won a prize to PM them or direct message them. This is not me at all. You've heard from me. I will be making a video when we get over 500,000 subscribers and only at that point. If you get any other messages or if you're told to part with some money to win a prize, this is not me. Please do report these scammers straight away. And with that out of the way, guys, let's return back to the video. So with the latest reports and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted a picture of the details for the new Mac Pro with its price as well. So what we've been told so far for the brand new Mac Pro is that it will be the same design. So this is the 2019 Mac Pro design or known as the cheese grater design. It will feature an M2 Ultra chipset inside it, will have up to 24 C CPU cores and basically this will be made up of 8 efficiency cores and also 16 performance cores. What the M2 Ultra essentially is, is two M2 Maxes stitched together to give that ultra performance. We've also been told that for the GPU performance where this Mac Pro will really shine is there will be a choice between 60 to 72 cores of GPU cores was absolutely amazing. Then on top of that as well they'll also also be four times videos, decoders and encoders for all you video editors out there. And then for the RAM, you'll have the choice of 64 to 192 gigabytes of RAM. We've also been told that the storage most likely this time in the Mac Pro and the first of any of the Apple Silicon devices will be upgradable. So this basically means essentially that you'll be able to stick in your own hard drives. We're not too sure at this stage if they're going to be Apple exclusive hard drives or you'll be able to just buy any kind of hard drives and just put them inside the Mac Pro. We're not too sure at this stage. But something else that we've also been told is that Apple are going to find a way to make it that you can also put in slot cards to be upgradable too. So this could basically mean you could put in sound cards and also you might be able to put in some graphics cards as well on top of the standard M2 Ultra GPU that we have right now. The starting price of this new Mac Pro will start in at $5,999 US dollars and this will be the basic configuration Mac Pro. So this will be having an M2 Ultra and this will mean it will have a 60 core GPU and it will have 64 gigabytes of RAM inside it for this option. So that is a summary of the new Mac Pro and like I said if we get any more information of what the Mac Pro will be having inside it I will be updating this report and letting you guys know in a future video. So if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to make sure to get those updates. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wish is to do with the actual Mac Pro and basically something I just talked about in the actual report here. And that's what makes the Mac Pro so great. And that is the ability to upgrade bits and pieces inside. Now with Apple Silicon being an all-in-one chip for CPU, GPU and RAM all together, I feel like that no changes of these three components are normally gonna be probably upgradable. So the Mac Pro might have to stick with this and you'll be stuck with that chipset forever. However, I really do hope that Apple do some sort of magic here that you can do some upgrades in some sort of shape or form So you could upgrade the storage and maybe put in expansion cards to maybe get a different sort of graphics card inside Sound card or video recording cards. You get the idea some sort of abilities like that because that would be really really awesome I really do hope that Apple do not take away from the Mac Pro this ability because it'd be so Disappointing and essentially you may as well just get yourself say a Mac studio in instead but if they did do that to put that ability to upgrade the parts that would be awesome but those are my thoughts and I'd love to know if you feel the same about this and with that guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell until next time guys I will see you really soon bye bye